How are you guys? Jake here. Today I'm going to be showing you counter and how it does its receipt printing and flicks the cash drawer out using an Epson receipt printer. These are actually intelligent cloud receipt printers. To set it up you just need to connect it to the power. There's two power things, plugs and also one Ethernet and then you plug the cash drawer into the receipt printer using the small phone port which is an RJ11 port. So now I'll just swing over to how to set it up. So you just log into counter and then go set up um, equipment and then just follow the prompts and as you see there's the different options. I'm just going to say yes I have my hardware because hopefully you have your hardware. If not you can look for a counter partner or whatever. So you just go yep use the intelligent printer, set up my intelligent printer or you can set up an additional printer. So just hit that set up an intelligent one and then when they actually print, they print out with an IP address on them when you first plug them in and you'll just need to say that or it didn't and then it'll give you instructions on what to do next. So if you go my printer printed with an IP, type in the IP address, the subnet and the gateway and then just follow the prompts. It's all pretty simple but I've already done this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where to actually associate them with your registers. So if you go into the register settings on here and you'll see if you scroll down a bit, it says printer type. So I'm going to say an intelligent printer, and then on the other one you put in the URL of your printer. And then for the receipts you say local printer in the cash drawer local printer because it'll flick the cash drawer from that printer. And then you just save and continue on. So now what I'll do is I'll show you on the actual, in real life, on the point of sale system. Now as you can see here I am at my point of sale system and we've got the receipt printer all configured and the cash drawer connected to the receipt printer. So now I'll just select a couple of items and put through a quick sale and put in the price. Okay, as you see the cash drawer popped open. Now I haven't got it to print receipts automatically just to save paper. So as you see I just had to click print a receipt. And then here's my receipt, served by me, test. And that's it, that's how simple it is. It just pops straight open like that. 